So far, on the super ultimate Koron Island tour, we've seen lakes, lagoons, and tons of incredible snorkeling. In all, this has been an absolutely unforgettable experience, but it isn't over just yet. We pick up the story just as we're pulling up to our last spot, Barracuda Lake. The real name of this lake is the Luluyuan Island, means the other side. Because the real Barracuda Lake is beyond those rocks, you need to climb more or less 60 steps going there, up and down. Okay, here we are going to see some different rock formation and also some fishes. And the most highlights in here is the Barracuda fish. The Barracuda fish is a meter long and kindly this one big. Okay, so don't worry if you are afraid on the Barracuda, it's not capable of eating the whole body of a person, only a half of you. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. Our Barracuda here is vegetarian, okay? I'm Cody. And I'm Izai. We're a Filipino-American couple. Who actually met on Tinder during my first time in the Philippines all the way back in 2017. Since 2020, we've been living together on the island of Cebu with our 10 cats, hunting down hidden spots and beautiful hotels on the weekend. Now we're on to our greatest adventure yet. Exploring the jaw-dropping municipalities of Coron and Buswanga in the province of Palawan. Got across two other boats to get to the lake area because not a big parking for this one. The jagged uh, rocks, I guess, look so cool, dude. Social distancing. I'd recommend you do this as a private tour. Yeah, yeah, dude, this one is busy, boy. Because there's a little space. It's very tiny space here at Barracuda Beach. I mean, not beach, lake. Beach, Barracuda Beach sounds so nice. So that's the lake back there. And then this is the only space. It's so small. So, I mean, it's not that big a deal because you're gonna go in the lake, right? But if you bring like a camera or something like this, might be best to leave that on the, on the boat for this one. There's not a lot to film here, just really best for the GoPro. I should have maybe left this one. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna actually use the Go Dome for this one, so I don't know if things are gonna look different or how it's gonna look, but we've only tested this out once, and I think it was a members exclusive video, so you guys have probably never seen this. But, uh, we're supposed to have, like, a something to put on it to keep water droplets off of it. We don't have. Hopefully it's gonna look good. This will be a test. Oh, but you can't hear me very well in it, so... Subtitles. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear us at all. Oh, cool. Hey guys, Future Cody here. I'm gonna do a little voiceover on this because we didn't do a lot of speaking. So, right here, this guide was helping us out a lot. He's taking Izai down. You can sit on this spot, but yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit further than what we're used Too to. Too deep? Too deep? Huh? Too deep? She seems disoriented. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now it's my turn trying. And as you can see, this is a constant problem with me. Like, I have a hard time getting my body into position. <laughs> you were not able to sit. <laughs> I can't sit. <laughs> I'm just floating up. <laughs> it's just so far down. It feels so far. We're not used to this. We're not like free divers or anything, you know? <laughs> she just comes back immediately. Okay, both of us try. Let's see. Surely we can do it. <laughs> I've flipped over too soon. But... So this part, the guide had the GoPro. 
that was not either of us. He's like, ah, there's like a coal back here. I'll swim through it and show you. The area here is so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Just absolutely ridiculous. This lake is actually super famous for like free divers in the Philippines to come and free dive. And there's a lot of really cool pictures and video that you can find online from people who actually know what they're doing. But that is not us. It still looks really cool though. It looks really awesome even if you're not a professional. Just this whole area is so beautiful. And there is actually, I don't know if we mentioned it in this video, there is a barracuda who lives here. That's why it's called Barracuda Lake. There's one barracuda. I can't remember why he's there, but... Oh, this part, yeah, it's, this is a famous spot where a lot of people will come and sit for picture. What am I... <laughs> I'm so struggling. <laughs> yeah, see, like, I'm starting to, like, float up. For some reason, I just cannot stay in position. Oh, this one was, like, a really good shot. And then these people started coming into shot. They were off to the side for so long. And then right when we were doing that shot, they came in. This is also a really famous spot you'll see online a lot. But we we weren't as deep as we thought we were. And this one, yeah. You hang there and pretend like you're falling off the cliff. You'll see this one a lot on Instagram. Pretty cool. All right, let's get back to the normal video. Okay, we're done here. Yeah. Couldn't really do much talking. I don't know how that one turned out, but nice montage, hopefully, at least. This might be my favorite lake of all of them. I mean, there were only two. <laughs> this might be my favorite lake of the two. It's really nice. All right, we're leaving. We're going back to the main island. What a long day. We'll decompress later when we get home. I need to, I might actually just pass out when we get home. I don't know. Oh, Isa, Isa. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Really? I think you are most <laughs> exhausted. I am so I exhausted. We still need to decompress on that on today at some point, but we're just walking down here. We saw there's some sort of a place to eat. I don't even know what it's called. There's like no sign outside. Maybe we'll see on the menu or something when we get there. But it's just a little bit down from our hotel. Let's see what kind of stuff they serve. I don't know what this place is. It doesn't even say on the menu. But they asked us right away if we had a reservation. We don't, but they said it's okay. <laughs> that place looked nice, but I didn't like the vibe in there at all. Like people, I saw other people trying to get their attention and they're just like ignoring the guests. And then we're sitting there waiting for so long. Nobody comes. I mean, it just felt so weird compared to all the other places we've been to here in Coron. Like, I mean, they seem very exclusive. We saw them turn away like two or three other groups for not having a reservation. And then it just didn't feel like welcoming at all. Every other place we've been to here in Coron feels really welcoming. I just like, I don't know, man. It just didn't feel good. We ended up back at the same place we ate at after our last tour, mostly because it's very close. Uh, or else we probably would have tried something else. But we're trying something at least a little different. We still got a pizza, but a different one. I guess it's their like special pizza here. I've never heard of it before. <laughs> and then also fries. I don't know about that other place. Like I said, the vibe just felt off to me. Isai said it seemed fine to her, but I don't know. Vibe is so important and I, I don't know, man. It was the only place we've been this entire trip in Koron where I felt like, like I wasn't into it. I don't know. I Hopefully you guys understand what I mean. Here's for eat long. Is it good? So yummy. They give you a lot too. Yeah. I asked the the guy at the kitchen if they have fish like even though it's not cooked yet. And then luckily they have this fish and then they gave us for free. Very nice. Yeah. The service here is so nice. Yeah, I know, right? He left yesterday. We were trying to feed him and he was gone. We told him that we were going to bring him leftovers. And he left. Maybe when we said leftover, he thought we meant you leave. <laughs> but now he gets fish. Very yummy. Eat Log is eating the fish, and then we heard meow and eat lag. A girl cat who lives here. He must have smelled it. So Izai brought her some, because there's a lot. 
They give a lot of fish for him. So she's gonna get some tonight too. If you ever come here to Acacia Garden Inn, that's where we're staying, look for Eat Log and Eat Lag. They're yeah. the local cats. Make Please sure you buy them, them something. Yeah, give them some. I mean, I'm not saying they, maybe they feed them. I have no idea. But, you know, it never mm -hmm. hurts to give them a little extra. Very good. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's actually tomorrow and I've already started filming the next video, but I forgot to do the decompression last night because we were really tired. All I'll say about the Super Ultimate Tour, I think that's what it's called, Super Ultimate Tour, is that it is really good, but it's really exhausting. I don't know. I, I only did that one because it had Barracuda Lake and I think it was worth it. Maybe if you can find Barracuda Lake on another tour so you can do two different tours and split split it into two days, it might be better because it's just, it's really exhausting. It wasn't just me and Izai, like everyone on the tour by the end, actually like halfway through the tour after lunch, they're all like, oh man, we're already tired. I do feel like you get enough time at each spot. You don't have time to linger for long, but you have enough to enjoy it at least. So if that's your only concern, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I mean, we were able to film and enjoy as well, so. If you're just going to enjoy and you're not filming, then it should be totally fine for you, I would think. I don't know how you'll personally feel about it, but um, the one thing is just the exhaustion. Like, it is, a, it is a lot in one day. So it's up to you. If you've got a little longer in Coron, it might be better to look around more and try to split it. But from the tour company we used, which is Calamian Islands, uh, travels and tours which is the company that I would highly recommend I mean I can't speak for others I'm sure some of the others are awesome too but man it's like the best tour company we've like ever used anywhere they're super good but for them at least right now they didn't have another option for going to Barracuda Lake next time on we wonder we finally rent a motorbike and head out on land to see what the island of Buswanga has to offer we were not disappointed you can click the video on your screen to watch that now keep wondering